well do you know the law? Do you know your rights? Do you know your wrongs? Here's a program that will keep you in the know of the law. Tune into Styles FM this and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.05 p.m. with your host, DG Angel, and get legal minded. Remember, ignorance is no excuse of the law. The law. So be in the know of the law. The law. The law. Sponsors of In the Know of the Law are Native Audio Stage and Lighting, Braham Stexi. Good afternoon and welcome back to another program of In the North the Law on Styles FM, Jamaica's number one radio station. I want to say a pleasant afternoon to all my listeners, all our listeners rather, uh, that has joined us from Portland, St. Mary, St. Thomas, um, St. Anne, St. Mary, and everywhere else. Really want to say thanks for being a part of In the Know of the Law. I have with me um, here, as always, my co-host, Mr. Nicholas Chambers. Good evening, Mr. Chambers. Mm-hmm. And, and how are you doing? It's good that you're back together. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. It's been a little while, yes. You have deserted mm. me. <laughs> <laughs> I have. But remember, no, you deserted me for pool. Not that, and I was hoping so. that you didn't mm-hmm. remember. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, of course, Mr. Nicholas Chambers, we can't do without our kind sponsors, mm-hmm. um, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, Braham's Texaco, Task Property Appraisals Company Limited, bringing quality service to you. And, of course, uh, our, I can safely say now that he is my sponsor. That's MT Landscaping Services. Uh, at that He is at Francis Lewis Boulevard in... Queens, New York City, and to get to Mr. Empty Landscaping Services, you can call him at 347-840-4623. Also, my contributors, and that's Sadie at your castle, all is contributing, Errol Barnes in Baltimore, USA. And of course, my friend up there in St. Thomas, that Toya's Nail Shop, number six, Rosemary Plaza, Mart Bay, and you can call Toya at 876 Four two six five zero six six. Mr. Chambers, big up our engineer, Cassidy. Mm-hmm. Let me We're just quickly say, to and to everyone, Mr. Chambers, I want to say thanks. The Empty Landscaping Services, the Venice Lady Fund, mm-hmm. is finally oh, has rolled. Oh, yes. On Thursday, gone, we rolled out the Venice Lady Fund at the Teachill High School. The check of $120,000 handed over to the school, mm-hmm. and two um, um, recipients um, uh, uh, received their, their certificates mm-hmm. for the award, and also Vanessa and her mother was there, yes. and so it was uh, awesome. So thanks again, MT Landscaping Services. Thanks for teaching you to taking up the offer, and thanks, Vanessa, and your mother for being an inspiration to so many persons, and thanks to everyone, the, um, the PTA president, Mrs. Um, Nadine McLean, and everyone else at part here, took off the evening. Mr. Chambers, you have been away from us for a while. We know that you're busy in circuit and all these things. I started a little trend uh-huh. when I was um, when I was in the AC and you were in the pool. <laughs> um, I started a little trend where I would comment mm-hmm. on current matters both locally and internationally, and mm-hmm. then I would go into the substance yes. of um, what we're here to discuss. What I want to talk, I would want to talk about is a recent video that has been going around in respect of the Pepper Spring. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can comment on it. Oh, yes, I can. But, um, what I want to say is that there are two things mm-hmm. that I observed on that video, and I listened to the interview um, of the gentleman mm-hmm. um, on, on, on another program. Mm-hmm. And my comment is this, folks. All of us must understand that we have a duty to respond positively to mm-hmm. instructions given by police officers. Mm-hmm. Those instructions, once given lawfully, and even if you believe that they are not given lawfully, I always believe that we should follow the instructions of the police officer. Mm -hmm. That's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Because if we follow those instructions, if there is a breach of our constitutional rights, Mm -hmm. we can then take a matter to the constitutional court Mm -hmm. for the breach of our constitutional rights. Right. Yes? The other thing that I observe coming out of that is that while it is that we must always observe, we must always um, follow the instructions given, 
at the same time, we must understand as an organization that seeks to be professional and has been making strides mm -hmm. to ensure that their operations and their conduct are professional, all officers must realize that where force is not necessary, mm -hmm. it ought not to be you, employed. We, that's how yes. we were trained. Ought not to be employed. Mm -hmm. um, I can't say what were the exigencies mm -hmm. operating on the mind of the officer at the time. So I cannot say mm -hmm. that the use of force was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. But from the appearance, I can only speak from what appearance appears to be the case from the video. Mm -hmm. It appears that the use of force was not necessary. Mm -hmm. um, and so if it is that there were exigencies that required the use of force, then mm -hmm. the officer has a right to use force where it is needed, where it is required. Mm -hmm. But if those factors did not exist, then perhaps what we must realize is that the JCF has been making strides to being more professional and we do not want incidents like these mm -hmm. to cause the foundation of the trust that is being built in the JCF to be eroded mm -hmm. by persons fearing right. what will be done by unprofessional persons who are unprofessional within the organization. We are properly trained and we are also trained to use the force necessary mm -hmm. at the time to deal with any situation. And so good evening to our listeners that have um, tuned in on the WhatsApp. Uh, we have quite a few persons there. Patrice, uh, say good evening, DG. And we have Sadie, say good evening to you and Mr. Chambers. We also have Janet from St. Mary. Um, pleasant afternoon to you, my sister. Kemoy, it's a blessed Monday to DJ and Mr. Chambers. Kemoy from Sunny Hill in the Know of the Law. Looking forward to a good program. And Kevoy Chambers from Sunny Hill St. Thomas. I say good evening, DJ and Mr. Chambers here. Another time taken in knowledge. Happy to have you. I want to say good evening also to the de Detective Inspector uh, Linton Bailey. We call him Thunder. That's my supervisor. Um, who is listening to the program. Mr. Chambers, you are so correct. Mm -hmm. We are properly trained, and so we ought to apply the force necessary at the time. The matter is under investigation, and I'm following it closely, mm -hmm. because it mm -hmm. is indeed a learning process yes. for everyone. Yes, it it is. is unfortunate, and at the end of the day, we hope that, you know, that we will learn a lot from what took place. Um, citizens and police officers alike. Right. I am a police officer, and wherever I go, and somebody gives me an order, I take it. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chambers, when I travel out of town and a police stop me, I have never said to them, I'm a police. Mm -hmm. I don't do it. I remember going down Stony Hill. I didn't have on, have on a seatbelt. And so they could have looked through my windscreen and saw. They stopped me and they say, you're not wearing your seatbelt. I apologized. He said, he has to give me a ticket. I gave him my documents. And then he said to me, I have to search your vehicle. I said, not a problem. He said, step out. He was very polite. I stepped out the vehicle. Not asking me if I have any firearm or anything, you know, but I'm just following your instructions. And so while searching the vehicle, he saw my, my, um, my vest on the back seat and he said, um, are you a man on this? Mm -hmm. I said, no, sir. Are for your husband? I said, sir, I neither have a man nor a husband. Mm -hmm. He said, then I will for this. I said, I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. Are for you? I said, yes, sir, it belongs to me. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, yeah, police. I said, yes, sir. Whenever I tell me, I said, no, I don't have to. Mm -hmm. I'm not immune. I wasn't wearing my seatbelt, and I'm apologizing. If you want to give me a chance, mm -hmm. as a citizen, not as a police. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Chambers, I've never got, I one time ever going to tell anybody that I'm a police. And I was in the state, driving too fast. Mm -hmm. They pulled me over. I'm going to ask them, the officer, you know, after he said he has a ticket me, mm -hmm. um, I was going 19 or 70 mile, and he told me, like, him, I said, 250 US at the time, I'm a $5 for one US. And he said, um, oh, it's only $250, ma'am. Quick, 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 me start telling him, say, I'm a police back home, didn't mean to break your law, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. <laughs> 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 it became necessary then. Mr. Chambers, <laughs> it became necessary <laughs> at that time. Yes. For me to quickly say, <laughs> I am a police. <laughs> we found that me now. Mm -hmm. I work in Jamaica and declare say me a police. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, it is a, a situation that we're following closely. Yes. But citizens, please, no matter the hype man, politicians, mm -hmm. ex-police, present police, regular citizens, lawyers, doctors, nobody with the hype. If a police stop you and give you an instruction and, and don't misunderstand, you are supposed to be told mm -hmm. 
why you are given certain instructions. Yes. You are supposed to be told why you are arrested. It's, it's, just, it's, it's not just instructions, directions. And no. Doing, no, there must be an explanation. And as like said, the she, searching of the vehicle. Yes. I always tell officers, you're not searching my vehicle until you tell me why, why? you want exactly. to search you my vehicle. Why? Exactly. You are supposed to. Because you must have reasonable suspicion of something. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Um, Gary from New, York, New Jersey say, good evening, DG Angel. I really appreciate hearing your views on the pepper spray situation. Thank you very much, um, Gary. As Mr. Chambers would have alluded to, I can't get in depth in it because it says, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a police, right? And then it is on investigations. So I have to be careful. But I'm just saying generally that force must not be used that is not necessary at the time all right internationally now we see in venezuela mm -hmm. the efforts are still being made to um to carry some stability between the yes, opposition and, and uh, mr mm -hmm. maduro yes um i still think they are in a position the position that they are in mm -hmm. because certain powers want mr maduro out of power I think so too. Yes, and if that were not the case, I don't believe the country would be in the mess that it currently and is. And locally, in. Uh, you know, as we're touching on anything, I like the trend that you have taken to this program. Mm -hmm. though. I saw in the um, the paper that the, the 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 opposition party is now going to be having a race for leadership. Leadership between race between Peter yes. Phillips mm -hmm. and Peter Bunting. Clash of the Peters. A clash of the Peters. Mm -hmm. And I want and, and and I saw on a newspaper where they were actually having a cutting cake along with them and Portia seems similar. And so I want Jamaican to understand that this is a democratic play, um, um, country. Mm -hmm. And so while they challenge each other for the seat, it's not not enough we start cussing the boat and get nasty mm -hmm. because that's how we tend to feel that we must, yes. you know, yes. and it, it should not be the case. That's Let me just quickly, before we start the pornography, read what Mr. T has before said. Before we start the what? The Before we start the pornography, let me read up Mr. T. I've said, hey, you Folks, can, you is, <laughs> let me tell you, it's the Child Pornography Prevention Act. I do not know to what my co-host refers to, but because I want to remain on this station and on this program, let me be very clear that oh we are discussing God. the Child what Pornography what what Prevention what Act. Anna, Anna. You yes. see, it's like a pregnancy. Now. It's coming, it's coming. So therefore, they would have understood after well, mm -hmm. what I mean, and I say pornography. Yeah. Pornography. <laughs> Good afternoon, the lovely Miss DG Angel and Honorable Mr. Whoa, Honorable Mr. Chambers. Mm -hmm. I will also watch a video and sometimes a police officer can make a suggestion rather than give an order. I know the rules are being enforced, but citizens, when you're making demands and giving orders and not giving clear reasons why it creates tension between both parties, I think that the police officer had something else on his mind that day. And that is your um, perspective, Mr. T, which I respect you for. Thanks very much for participating. For all my friends up here in Atlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, yes. I love you all and you know yourselves. I my have special one more friends. issue before we go into the Mm -hmm. um, have you been following the the the, 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 the 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 almost collision between the two ships in the south in the Pacific South no. China Seas no. between uh, the Russian ship and the US um, the, the US ship? No. Oh yes, there was almost a collision um, of the South Pacific in the South Pacific waters, and you know that there is tension between China. Yes. and the U.S. regarding those waters. Mm -hmm. And recently, China, the, um, the, the Mr. Xi, Xi Jinping mm -hmm. um, visited Russia, mm -hmm. and they had these um, agreements between them. Mm -hmm. And it's being suggested that that near collision of a disputed, in the disputed waters of the South Ch China Sea is Ch Russia's way of saying to China, I've got your back. Wow. Yeah. So that is being played out, and I hear that China and Russia has agreed to start trading in rubles. Well, I heard that. Yes. That's so they're they going to dump the dollar and start trading in rubles. So, and you might be wondering again, folks, since I started the train of talking about local and international matters, you might be saying, what does that 
China and Russia US thing have to do with mm -hmm. me? A lot because our dollar is yes. vulnerable to the US dollar. And so if China and Russia start a squabble mm -hmm. with the US, we are going to be impacted. Impacted by it. Um, I'm Jody and from St. Mary. Mm -hmm. Good evening, DG Angel and Mr. Chambers. I'm in class as always, ready to be informed. Thank you very much. Um, let me just quickly say if you have your comments, could you WhatsApp us at 876-453-1444? That's 876-453-1444. So, we are discussing the Child Pornography Prevention Act this evening. And it is an act that came into being to prevent the constant recording or creation and uh, dissemination of pornographic material that involves children. And this act came in 2009. Yes. So it is a very recent act. It's not mm -hmm. an old act. Yeah. And it said a child means a male or female person under the age of... 18, 18 years mm -hmm. and child pornography you want to take that one uh, means any visual representation that shows a person who is or is depicted as being a child and is engaged in or is depicted as being engaged in sexual activity so number one once it shows the depiction of it yes that mm -hmm. is deemed child pornography. Just the very depiction, depiction of, of it. it. Yes, mm -hmm. continue. Depicts for a sexual purpose the genitals, breasts, public area, or anal region of a child. Or mm -hmm. depicts a child being subjected to torture, cruelty, or physical abuse in a sexual context. So any of those private body parts that are shown, it is considered child mm -hmm. pornography. Mm -hmm. It should not be done. It should not be shown. It should not be on your phone. And remember, but, 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 but Mr. Chambers, isn't the, the law contradicting itself somewhat? Because the Child Pornography Act. Prevention it, Act. Prevention Act. Say a child means anyone under the age of 18 years old. Mm -hmm. That now has not changed. Well, isn't that debatable though? Because at 16, I can have sex. Well, you're still a child. But I can show you my breasts. No. Yes, but come here, I have sex with him. No, no, no. What they're talking about is having the pornography, the production of the pornography. You know? Right. Remember, pornography has to do with having a photo. Right. Having um, an, an electronic um, caption of it. Uh -huh. capturing electronically so that's what this act is talking I about. know this act is not talking about the real life thing and that's why I, right. I jump out at it to mm -hmm. say that quickly before somebody asks what you were saying yes. here yes. because that we have not yet reached down to where that's so when a person here was 18 years old mm -hmm. and then afterwards sees any presentation of and mm -hmm. all of this include sex and so on would question why would they say 18 when children at 16 can have sex because you're still a child once Precisely. you have not reached 18 18. Right. It also says it means any audio recording, see, mm -hmm. or written material that has as its dominant characteristic the description, presentation, or representation for a sexual purpose of sexual activity with, with a child. child. Yes. So mm -hmm. even if it's a recording mm -hmm. on audio, yes, it should not have the depiction or the characteristic. Mm -hmm. of child pornography. See? Any visual representation, audio recording, or written material that advocates or counsels sexual activity with, with a, a child. child. Good. And the sexual activity means actual or stimulated sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. He said activity, of, ac activity other than sexual intercourse, whether involving persons of the <laughs> same or opposite, opposite sex. sex. Which involves the penetration of the anus, vagina, or mouth with any part of a person's body or the anus or vagina or anything else and which a reasonable person would consider sexual. sexual yes. It also includes touching of a sexual organ mm -hmm. or the anal region of a person with any part of the body or with or through anything else in a manner which a reasonable person would consider sexual. sexual. Mm -hmm. And what else it includes? Bestiality. 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 Yes, sex with animals. Masturbation. Masturbation. Mm -hmm. So you can't have anything on your phone. And that is just so disturbing even to speak about. Yes. Anything on your phone with a child masturbating. Hmm. You see? 
So that 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 ought not to be either. And further down in the act, it will tell you when you get it on your phone and send it to somebody We're else. We're going to, yes. Right. Um, sadistic or machistic abuse. Mm -hmm. Um, vis and visual representation includes any image, whether made or produced by electronic, mechanical, or any other means. That's what yes. we were talking about. Right. So it has to do with a production. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, undeveloped film, mm -hmm. videotape, and data stored in el electronic form capable of converse. Conversion, conversion in a visual image because you know you have all sorts of ways you can store data these days right so they're saying even if you store it in some other way mm -hmm. but it can be v converted to a visual image mm -hmm. it is deemed a visual representation under this act yes and it will be um you'll find yourself on the wrong side of the law now it goes on to say for Karen tabernacle johnson good mm -hmm. evening um, my, 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 my... Andrew Morrison. I, I, I probably say that she and I went to the teach no, to show together. Off, man. Andrew Morrison, he's all the way from Toronto. He's an attorney. Oh. I'm glad to have you, um, Andrew. And you know what I'd ask you to do for me, Mr. Morrison, in relation to any act legislation that we're discussing, if you perhaps know the Canadian legislation that oh, correspond... Yes. And you can um, supply that. If you can WhatsApp it to us, you're joining us on Facebook Live, if you can type that. Or if you can call into the program and have a discussion with us, Mr. Morrison. And We'd if you feel love. like calling in, Mr. Mm. Morrison, you can call in at 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. If we see a Canadian number calling in, we'll, mm. we'll, we'll, we'll take your call, all right? We would we'd love for you to join and to... Tell us the comparison with the legislation that you mm -hmm. have there in Canada. Right. Now, subsection 2 says, For the avoidance of doubt in paragraph A of the definition of child pornography in sex subsection 1, the reference to a person shall be construed as including a reference to an image resembling a person. Mm -hmm which has been generated or modified electronically or otherwise, mm -hmm. and any evidence that some of the principal characteristics shown may be those of an adult shall be disregarded mm -hmm. if the predominant impression conveyed is that the image shown is that of a of child. A, which means what they are really saying. If you try to fix it up and make it look like an adult, but it's but still, still quack <laughs> and walk like a child, it is a, a child. child. Mm -hmm. So don't even bother try. You know, these days you can do all sorts of things with, with, with images, right, mm -hmm. Cassidy? You can put on here these days, you can put in abs. Oh, yes. You can, I do not, all sorts of body parts you can put on a photo these days, you know. Mm, yeah, so they are man. saying, even if you try to do that, if it is a child, it mm. is a child, you will not escape the law. Sensei, mm -hmm. from up uh, um, John Town, say you're late for class. We just start, man. Uh, and for your sake, we will start over there. They tell Sensei, I was on the here and I was saying that. They were accusing if when the people come for court, if them we are pretty close, go to court. I tell them, yes, prisoners are properly dressed. Mm -hmm. Them family members carry them clothes mm -hmm. and things. It's just that yes. sometimes they come with clothes and fix up. Sensei, <laughs> I remember mean fix up. So they say, no. <laughs> I don't know what it means either. Sensi, you and I want to know what it means. DG is going to tell <laughs> us what it means on these me. days. <laughs> you go and hold that. Them clothes fix up. All right. right. So, so uh, for the avoidance of doubt, don't bother try to doctor it, as we would say here in Jamaica. Not at all. If it's a child, no. it's a child. Yes. Section 3 says, you want to A one? person who knowingly causes or incites the involvement of a child in the production of child pornography in Jamaica or elsewhere commits an offense. Good. So, knowingly causes or incites. Let mm -hmm. me break that down. Mm -hmm. So, if you know that what is being done is the recording or the production of a child in a sexual, engaged in a sexual activity, or you... You know what we say, um, promote it, mm -hmm. or you go there and you, 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 um, how is it, bait me up? Yes, yes, yes. yes. You bait up the child, you bait the child into pro producing a pornographic, um, mat pornographic material. It is illegal. Hmm. Yes, it mm -hmm. is an offense. So whether or not you produce it, if or you cause it to have been produced, mm -hmm. or you incited the production of it. Yes, mm -hmm. you promoted it, you push for it. 
Yes? You aided it and abetted it. You aided and abetted it. Mm-hmm. It is considered still an offense. Mm-hmm. And a person who having the custody, charge, or care of a child allows the child to be used in the production of child pornography in Jamaica or elsewhere commits an offense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you're low. Yes, yeah. Um, it's a good thing, Cassidy. Have us up. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. folks who are on my Facebook live, if you see my live goes dead, my battery is <laughs> dying, but we are on Facebook. We are on Styles Facebook page. So you can still join the discussion on Styles Facebook page. Always remember that you can always join us there, even though you're on my um, Since page. he's asking, when are you guys coming to Mark B? You mean in the North Law or you mean Styles FM? You know, I was thinking about it, DG, that we, uh, we should talk to um Yes, yes. See if we can. Do our outside broadcast? All right, That's yes. a very good. If we get enough persons requesting... Who is this now? Hold on. This person is in Africa. Africa? Yeah. Um, hold on. But this person is I'm a from West the- Africa, but attached to Caribbeans. And I find this program very useful. This child th- porn thing is very good to curb the many materials posted on the net which shows school children in Jamaica engaging in all manner of sexual act. Now, those persons can be arrested and prosecuted. I it's want a it, British number, though. It is a British number. Mm-hmm. But I, um, I want to thank you for, thank you. Um, for posting that. Yes. Tell us from what country. I think this number looks um, well, that to looked be British, a British number. But he says he's from Ga- what's his name? What's that name? He's from Ghana. But he, right. uh, yes. So tell West us which Africa. country that you, you're... you're, you're um, Texting us from it's so that we can know how far our reach is. Yes? Right, and we right. want to thank you for joining us. Since mm-hmm. he said the whole package, you want the entire Styles family um, in St. Thomas. Um, Sensi, you want to call on the program and say it? <laughs> so that oh. DG's boss can hear. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he say he has a link. Let me see where he says. Oh, he say he lives in, he's in the UK. Okay, yes. But he has wow, but he has a style link. Share the link with a lot of persons for us here. And what's your name, if you don't mind, that we could add you. My name is oh oh my gosh. I can't even pronounce it. Pa Quessy. It's P A A. Quessy. Oh, my name is Pa Quessy. Adding that in the system for me, but Cassidy. Parquesi from England. So that we can Oh, we couldn't put Parquesi from West from, from Africa slash England. When I finish, save it for me that I know that I have him as my listener. Full, full, full listener say we have people from out of Africa. He's not but, Africa. Well, the he is, he not is from... The, the man is in the UK. He is in the UK, but he's, for, he's, a, he's an African. So I, I'm not wrong. I'm on black. would we'll say you are one. <laughs> I'm an African. Okay. Of course. So. Have you read I'm on black new book? No, I have not. Yes. Um, he, I could take it as a gift, he, though. He, um, I don't know if it's gift. He gives me one. I'm supposed to pay him later. I'm not too sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I have one. Of, I got one of his books. Um, it's, it, it makes for nice reading. Please, please tell Mr. Iman Black mm-hmm. that you do not accept anything singular. If, mm-hmm. if you're my co-host and, I and mean, vice versa. I never said give me, me say I don't know yet if it's a gift. I know, but I'm saying if you're getting a gift, no, but if you're getting a gift, Mm. One as I give you pay for the other one, but you can't take anything singles, me and you. <laughs> okay, I will bear Oh, gosh, he mind. said I got his name right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Chrissy. <laughs> well, let me try to pronounce it again. We feel nice now. His name is, oh, my gosh, he said I got it. Paquesi. Paquesi. Oh, you see, I got it right. He said, it. you got my name right. Time to bridge a gap. I, I agree with you, Paquesi. And uh, the name so nice, don't you? Paquesi. I keep saying, per question. <coughs> All right, so thank you very much. We're going to save your number in the system. Um, it's a very long number. It's England. Um, and so we'll definitely keep in touch with you, per question. All right. Kathy Ben Ben, watching from New York, mm-hmm. who has joined us on Facebook Live. Garcia. Hi, Garcia. Bon champagne. I haven't, um, haven't heard from you in a long time. Thank you for joining. You can't walk with your charger. Um, and uh, we have here Hamilton, um, Tamin. Thank you for watching as well, Tamin. I hope all is going well for you. We are now at section, subsection three. Right. It said a person who commits an offense under this section is liable on conviction or indictment, on before, indictment. before a circuit court mm-hmm. to a fine or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 
15 years or to both such fine and imprisonment. imprisonment. Well, for, just for causing it or inciting it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, forces. Uh, this is actually producing and distributing child pornography. Mm -hmm. Forces a person who commits an offense who knowingly produces child pornography. So if you make it, right? that's what it means. Produce it. If you make it, you take your, 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 your phone. cell phone. And, and you record it, okay. yes, you like, video it, it's child pornography. Yes, you are producing it. Yes. Distributes, imports, or exports child pornography. So let us break that down. Okay. You see, if you make it on your phone or you record it on your phone and you send it to me or DG, you just distribute it. More and, um, 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 and also... And please don't send it to me. I, I don't want it if, on my phone. And if you get it on your phone, even if you are not the maker of it, and you get it on your... I did this program already, and you know. And keep it there. And you keep it on your phone and say, you know me, I'll show you. You're and in possession. send it to somebody. One, you're in possession. And two, you sending it on to somebody to show them you are distributing. Cassidy, you remember, so we do that program in a long, long time. Okay, so we're going to keep doing it over and over again because we realize it has gotten more prevalent and persons do not understand that this is a prison sentence you, you, you're working towards. Subsection three, um, C says distributes an advertisement likely to be understood as conveying that the advertiser or any person, other person produces, distributes, imports or exports any child pornog <laughs> pornography. <laughs> don't advertise it. No. Don't come even here. attempt to come advertise Come here, let me show you. Look here, come here. Six hours, come, let me show you something. Yeah, let me show you something. Come here, come here, come here. Yes, don't okay. advertise it. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say, if you possess any child pornography for the purpose of distributing, importing, or exporting it, it is an offense. Don't possess it. Say somebody sent it to you for the love of the Delete Lord. It. Delete it. it. Don't keep and it. And cyberspace can know if you had it in your phone and how long you had it for. Don't keep it. I mean, you can't control what person sent no. you. No. But you can control whether or not you keep, keep it. it. And or that is where you will find yourself. Or what you do, do with, with it, it thereafter. So that is where you can find yourself. You know, you know interesting, in, uh, Mr. Chambers... In the news gone last week on another station, mm -hmm. they said that the USA, um, the criteria for getting your, M your US visa now as a visitor or otherwise, you will have to give up your, um, the, the, the name that you use for social media. Yes. So your whether it is... media handle. Your Twitter, must, uh, the Facebook. Angle. Yes. Whether it's Twitter, Facebook, um, you name them. You have to now give yes. up your angle. You have to give them um, up now. To, to, to be qualified. So they are going to be, go and, and then whatever you have on it for five years, it can be held against mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And that is a part of the USA now. So if you want the people in visa, that are there on the form, just like you're putting your email address, mm -hmm. you have to give up your handle. Good afternoon, um, Mr. DG and Mr. Chambers. I would love you guys to come tomorrow at B2. I can't stop laughing when you call the brother Gary in the morning. <laughs> Galang to the business, you know. And from St. Thomas. And there, she, yes, there, she's there. out. St. Thomas lock, man. <laughs> oh, you know, you know see nobody are texting from Portland, Tony, Portland. Portland don't listen to styles. Only St. Thomas. And um, I don't know. St. Mary and Alyssa Ida and St. I'm not going I don't to see them texting my him. Portlanders. Is St. Thomas mm -hmm. alone, I see listening. All right, so let me see if anybody from Portland is going to text him. But we got myself on it from St. Thomas. Keith Brown, we see you as well on um, Facebook Live. Right. And then it goes on to say, in this act, distributing child pornography includes selling it mm -hmm. or publishing it in any form mm -hmm. and parting with possession of child pornography by exposing or offering it for acquisition there you mm -hmm. go. So let me read that part again. Parting with mm -hmm. possession of child pornography by exposing or offering it for acquisition by another, another person. person. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, DG, when I get certain things, you know, as I say, I can't control what people send to me. Mm -hmm. Yes? And not even the person in my house I don't send it to, you know? No. Hey, you know what no. I to you? Not mm. even the person in my house I don't send it to. I am not distributing. No. Yes? No. And nobody.
can say that Mr. Chema has distributed because I got it from no me not sending it to anybody. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Lisa, oh gosh. Lisa, save. Lisa, you have saved the entire Portland. Lisa from Cottage Lane, Yard Vibes. Say good evening, Portland is listening. And so Lisa have spoken for Portland. Is you alone a listener, Lisa? But I thank you for walking out and to let Portland who head held high. Give whenever you deceiving shape kill we. So All right? Mr. T is from here. Mr. T so is I think it's um Mr. T is from No ma Mr. T you not come from nowhere near us. So. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. No, Mr. T is an overseas listener that, okay. it, that don't leave me out. Him so tell you where I'm coming from. Mr. T, where, where you coming from again? Where, where are you talking from? That's something in the USA. Okay, all right. All right. Um, it goes on to say, so a person, subsection 3, says a person commits an offense under A, subsection 1A, my, my, where am I? Right. Yes. Under subsection 1A is liable. Mm -hmm. So 1A speaks to producing child right. pornography right so if you produce a chi child pornography on conviction on indictment before a circuit court to a fine or imprisonment for a term not exceeding 20 years and for it to or be to both such fine and imprisonment and for it to be at circuit court Mr. chambers mm -hmm. it is deemed to be but it has to go there that's the only um, place i can deal with it Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, it is considered to be serious. If you distribute, import, or export child pornography on conviction, on indictment before a circuit court to a fine or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 15 years. years. Oh, no, it's not just for um, distribution, you know. It's for the distribution. It's for the advertisement. B, C. And it is for the possession. And D too? The D, the possession. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Um, Mr. T is from Alberta, Canada. Oh, gosh, Jordan, my apology. I have to apologize. Jordan said, really, DG? I'm from St. Mary and I'm listening. Oh, God. My um, I withdraw. No, but you said Portland. You never no, but no, I had said it's only um, St. Thomas listening. And she had logged on early, early. I withdraw and apologize. You see, by me, no make certain <laughs> statements. <laughs> Jodian, <laughs> that is why I did make the statement and never joined the statement. And I made Lord, sure Mr. that Chambers, I stayed apologize. away from I'm the statement, Jodian. You understand me? Mr. Chambers, you okay. like, I'm rub it in so far. I apologize. Nah. You, you know them withdraw. Little, you know them little people that said, me never do it. <laughs> I withdraw and apologize. St. Mary's listening. Jodian, I apologize. You hear? All right. He's, um, he's from Edmondson. He's from Alberta, Canada. All right, um, let me see. Subsection, oh, well, section five deals with possessing or accessing child pornography. Mm -hmm. It says, subject to subsection four, a person who knowingly possesses child pornography in circumstances other than those specified in section 41D mm -hmm. commits an offense under this section. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody is listening from Massachusetts. Big up yourself. I have the number that ends with eight two eight um four two eight nine. Big up yourself from Massachusetts. Andy said, "I'm here too." Good evening, Andy from Saint Thomas. Bless up yourself. Hi, friends from New Jersey. Um, send drop us a line so we know that you're listening because I don't want to be accused of leaving you out again. <laughs> um, but just drop us a line, my friend. From oh, New thank you, Jodian. Mm -hmm. Jodian Abe. <laughs> Jodian say apology accepted, Abe. <laughs> and I know New York is here because MT Landscaping is here. Oh, he lives here. Even um, if him, you don't see him up there, MT is listening. Right. So I know New York is represented. Answer this for me, please. Go ahead. Let me see if I can answer, Sensei. We're going to talk until you finish type. Rusty DG. DJ draw out your your listeners them. <laughs> Manitoba, Canada. Big up yourself. Oh, you mean have you draw them out? Manitoba. Yeah. A lot of Canadians on exactly. this. Exactly. Huh? Manitoba, mm. right. Big up yourself, Rusty. Bless up and thank you very much. Um Nikki Original from St. Thomas. Big up yourself. We don't have a foreign number, but Nikki says you're originally from St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Big up yourself and thank you very much well, for tuning where in. Where are you listening from, from right now, now Nikki? Right, because she is originally from St. Thomas, but she has an overseas number 
up there. Go ahead now, Mr. Chambers. So you commit, um, so subject to subsection for yeah, a person who the boss knowingly see the boss walk possesses there, no? child, <laughs> see the boss up there, child pornography in circumstances other than those specified in subsection 41D commits an offense under this section. Mm -hmm. S subsection 2 says, subject to subsection 4, see? So mm -hmm. subs mm -hmm. subsection 4 is very important. It is. A person who knowingly accesses any child pornography commits an offense under this section. Access. So if you knowingly go and find it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you commit an offense under this act. For the purposes of subsection 2, a person accesses child pornography if that person's person causes mm -hmm. child pornography to be viewed, viewed by or, or otherwise, otherwise read, heard. heard, or transmitted to that, that person. person. So if you go and view it, it's an offense. If you go and read it, it's an offense. If you listen it, it's an offense. Mighty and if you Lord. cause it to be transmitted to you, it is an offense. It means you have access it. Mm -hmm. It's an offense. Mm -hmm. It's all this now. Go and read there. Even. It's when they try. Um. All right. If a 14 year old girl lies and says she's 19 and then has sex with a 25 year old man, listen. If, at the, if, 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 if the she lies. Circumstances. Lie, you have to look at the circumstances. It, it is, however, the police can't look at the circumstances. If we mm -hmm. find out. No, the court. The court has the to court, look at the Right. So we still have to make the arrest, right? And at the end of the day, it is if it is your defense that she lied and told you, that is your... When I get a good, nice, good up with a lawyer like my friend sitting beside me here, you'll be able to explain to the court that you are tricked. But as for us as police officers... You know, unfortunately, that defense is not under the Sexual Offenses Act for persons over 21. <laughs> so if you are 25, the lawyer is saying, dog, name your supper. It's not. It's not an. It's, it's a defense that is available for the young men. It's called a young man's defense. So for oh. persons twenty one and down, 23, 20, 23, 23. Yes, mm -hmm. and down, um, they they can use that defense to say that I I couldn't have known that she was because not, she said she was not sixteen. Yes. Okay. And you have to present the circumstances to convince the jury. Yes. That you could not have known, or yes, uh, but for persons over twenty-three, unfortunately, it doesn't. It's not she are, so she is so originally from St. Thomas, but she's now in Massachusetts. Ah, another All right, person so she's from answered, Massachusetts. She have mm -hmm. answered that. All right. This other person, now, Mr. Chambers, so Sharon is present in class, and she's always listening. Sharon, I don't, not sure where she's coming from. I know she has an overseas number. Sharon, tell us where you're listening from right now. Right, mm -hmm. but I'm um, sure and say she's always listening thank, thank you. you very much we really appreciate the support um good afternoon tamika from sunrise florida good afternoon tamika and thanks for tuning in all right mm -hmm. um but sensei that's a very good question we are going to do a program on that one day to educate our young men as a matter of fact i saw it on your let list us look, let us look yes i saw it the on your list offenses act yes. we're going to speak about you pre it honestly yes. i think you're reading mr mm -hmm. chambers mind because he sent me a list of things and that is on his list all right yeah. Um, subsection 4 now, the most important section that's um, under section 5, it appears. Mm -hmm. It says, no person shall be liable. Now, this is where your defense comes in. Okay. No person shall be liable for an offense under this section if that person shows that A, he had not seen, read, or listened to the child pornography concern and had no reasonable cause to suspect that he was in possession of it or had access or had access to. Mm -hmm. yeah? So mm -hmm. if somebody sent it to me and I haven't checked my WhatsApp message mm -hmm. to know that it is there, it's, an, it's a defense to say, I could not have known. I have, I have not had that phone for over a month now. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So I didn't know that it was there. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a, it's a defense. B, upon having reason to suspect that he had come into possession of or access child pornography, he promptly oh, yes. took reasonable steps to avoid, remove, remove or dis destroy the, the child, child pornography, pornography, then it's a defense. Yes. If you can show that you took steps 
to get rid of it. And for those who are listening, yes, my Facebook Live is now gone because my phone <laughs> has gone kaput on me. Money from Portmore and say good evening, Mr. Chambers and DG. Of course, she says she's listening from the USA. Lord, man, we know it's USA. We just ask you which part are USA. And I, I see somebody there from Calgary as well. Oh, yes. Canada uh, is representing. Yes, Ian from Calgary. Yes. Maxine Moreland from St. Catherine said good evening, DG and Mr. Chambers. And brother, listening from, you started, but just not the chance to text. Thank you very much, Maxine. You know you're always tuning in. I'm Orland from St. Catherine. Thank you very much. Um, Ian Calgary said, I'm Manchester. And um, yeah, that Ian said, he's at um, Calgary's in Canada, right? There's one in, in Canada. Is there one in Manchester? Yeah, he said, I'm Manchester. Right. Good evening, DJ. I'm always listening to you too. Good evening. And he said, he's in Calgary. But I guess Calgary, he said Manchester. he is in Manchester. Oh, I, wow, I didn't know there was a Calgary in Manchester. You All don't right. know Jamaica. Can mm -hmm. you imagine? I, in a lot of places. Uh, I we know. have five minutes left yes, to go. Let me go. It All says, right. so. So it's a defense if you took reasonable steps to avoid, remove, or destroy the child pornography. Delete it. Or reported the matter to the child's registry mm -hmm. in accordance with the provisions of the Child Care and Protection, Protection Act. And we went through that last or the GCF, time. The a member Force. of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and allowed access to the child pornography for the purposes of the enforcement of this act or any other law or... See, he possessed the child pornography concern for the purposes of bona fide educational, educational scientific, legal, legal or, or medical research. So, if I have it on my phone in respect of a matter that I'm dealing with in court, mm. I <laughs> have a defense here under the act. Mm. Uh, all right. So, I, or listen mm -hmm. to me now. Carla from Mapen, Clarendon, good evening. Listen, Mr. Chambers. Don't bother because I'm a teacher. I teach maths. And I every time my phone say, Oh, because I want to teach it. My teacher don't teach porn, mm -hmm. pornography. Mm -hmm. So therefore you have to be careful about these defenses. Oh uh, uh, no, I'm living in Calgary, but I'm from Manchester, Jamaica. Oh, okay. stop confused with a man. <laughs> uh, so you're actually so you're in Calgary, Canada, but you're actually from Manchester, Jamaica. Clear as crystal now, Ian. All right, cool. Thank you for listening again. It's, yes. it's, it's good to know that the, we, what, we have had Calgary. We have everybody. We have had um, Manitoba. Yes. You said, yes. Um, we have had um, Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, we have had a number of persons everybody. from Canada. So yes. Ottawa. So it's good. It's it good is. to it know is. that um, Canadians are listening. Right. And of course, we invite you, as I said, to if you are an attorney or you're paralegal or you're in the legal um, the, the enforcement um, agencies there or the police or if you're a police officer, you can um, send us a message to say what is the comparison between all legislations that we're discussing. And, and don't think and those to our your, Facebook your, uh, live persons mm -hmm. on the Styles FM page, don't think yes. we're actually ignoring you. We actually can't see live what you're saying to us, but we Ca appreciate Cassidy, you. you can tell us? It, it too much. You can tell us what they're saying on the Facebook live? Yes, they can talk. You have a ear, Cassidy, talking? Hmm? He's enough of something. Cassidy can't it's talk. Not something they're saying there. But I don't want them to think we're ignoring them, you know. North. Well, North. Um, who is that from North Carolina? Uh, good evening from North Carolina. Bless up yourself. All right. Let, let's see um, if we can see what that person's on the... In the few minutes that we have, yeah, we let have us three just minutes show left. them that we are not ignoring them. In the meantime, while that is being done by Cassidy, we're going to continue this discussion because we still have a number of other sections to... We still have a number of other sections to... This is a WhatsApp. No, no man, you can go ahead. Um, to mm. discuss under the... Uh, child pornography. All right, so finally, because we have three minutes left. No, we're not going to another one because we oh, want oh. to um, speak to some of these persons. So if you want to, um, in the meantime, speak to some of our contributors. Oh, okay. Our okay. I, I really want to just say thanks. Um, we're going to be reading some of the comments, but in the meantime, let me just take time out um, to say thanks to our sponsors, our kind sponsors, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, Braham Texaco, Task Property Appraisals Company Limited, bringing quality service to you. And to our contributors, Toya Nail Shop Number 6, Rosemary Plaza, Mart Bay, St. Thomas. To get Toya, you can call her at 426 
And of course, Sadie from your castle, who is always contributing. Errol Barnes from Baltimore, USA. And the big man himself, MT Landscaping Services. And of course, he actually opened the Vanessa Ladley for the Teachfield High School in honor of his father, Mr. Calvin M. De Souza. And his business place is at Francis Lewis Boulevard, Queens, New York City. Of course, he does the best in cleanup and garbage removal, pressure wash, and scrap metal removal. It up, empty landscaping services, of course, at 347-840-4623. Of course, and if you want a very good lawyer, I know I'm going to try to cut me up because I know I'm going to say this part, you can check in with Mr. Nicholas Chambers, a brother from the soil, a past Edward of the Teachfield High School, Wait. at Legal Chambers, shop number one, Harbour Street, or rather one Harbour Street, that's shop number five, upstairs digital, and to get him on him, answer all WhatsApp call, you can get him on 876-392-5112. And in July, folks, we're going to be talking about applying for a title. Mm -hmm. We're going to be speaking about subdividing property. Mm -hmm. We're going to speak about purchasing and selling property. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about surveying property so you can get your title. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole lot of things that we're going to be discussing come July in respect of land acquisition and land dis disposition oh. and disposal. So you don't want to miss those topics in July. Not at all. telling you early. Um, I think we can say thanks oh. to a few people quickly. Samuel Anderson, yes. say keep up the good work. M very informative to the mass. Uh, that person is saying, um, Pakwe say, oh, he's actually on Facebook Live too. Mm -hmm. Pakwe say, say, with this child porn thing is very good. Keep up the many materials posted on the net. We show school children in Jamaica engage. Oh, he sent it in the yes, WhatsApp yes. also. Mm -hmm. Right. Tamika um, Pasley yes. is from Sunrise, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, Ernest White say good afternoon, DG and Mr. Chambers. And uh, Alston Lopez say bless up herself, bless up herself, my brother. And um, of course, Pacwa say again said I'm a Ghana, but the topic is relevant, mm -hmm. irrespective of where I find myself. So we want to say thank you for everyone who has joined us on our Stars we can't Facebook squeeze in two more. page live. We can't squeeze in two more. Go ahead, Good job, guys, said Mr. Michael Spaulding. And Winsome Smith said, blessed love my daughter, Mr. Chambers. I always enjoy your program and try to learn what I don't know. The Lord bless you all. Go on on some more, Cassidy. All right. No, we can't take no more. Mm -hmm. So... Thank you, Mr. Chambers, for being here with thank us. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you, for your not, listeners, for thank, joining thank us. Thank you for not um, um, for not deserting me again. Open me WhatsApp quickly, <laughs> Mr. Something, there. and thank you for being here. And of course, I want to thank our engineer Cassidy. Um, uh, Paco say is saying something again, but we, oh 